Jeff Beck, the influential guitarist who rose to rock and roll stardom with 1960s supergroup The Yardbirds and later enjoyed a prolific solo career, has died, but the death of the superstar was mysterious. What happened to him is also a mystery. Jeff Beck has earned millions of heart and made fortune worth of millions. Everyone is wondering what happened to Jeff Beck and most importantly who will take his property. In this video, we will talk about the net worth of Jeff Beck and who will take the property and we will also discuss the cause of death. So stay tuned and watch the video till the end and click on the subscribe button if you haven't. Jeffrey Arnold Beck was born on 24 June 1944 to Arnold and Ethel Beck at Wallington, London. He has a sister, Annetta. As a 10-year-old, Jeff Beck sang in a church choir. He attended Sutton Manor School and Sutton East County Secondary Modern School. Beck said that he first heard an electric guitar when he was six years old and heard Les Paul playing How High the Moon on the radio. He asked his mother what it was. After she replied, it was an electric guitar and was all tricks, he said, that's for me. Beck's road to stardom began with the unenviable chore of replacing Eric Clapton in the Yardbirds band in the mid-1960s. Beck joined the Rumbles, a Croydon band, in 1963 for a short period as lead guitarist, playing Gene Vincent and Buddy Holly songs, displaying a talent for mimicking guitar styles. Later in 1963, he joined the Tridents, a band from the Chiswick area. He was a session guitarist on a 1964 Parlophone single by The Fits and Starts titled, I'm Not Running Away, with B-Side So Sweet. Beck founded his own combo, the Jeff Beck Group, featuring vocalist Rod Stewart and bassist Ron Wood. On Truth and Beckola, the band pioneered a fierce, overdriven approach to the blues that lay the groundwork for early heavy metal. In 1975, he switched to a mainly instrumental style with a focus on innovative sound and his releases have spanned genres ranging from blues rock, hard rock, jazz fusion and a blend of guitar rock and electronica. He may not have topped blow by blow, but he came very close to equaling it with Wired in 1976. Beck used songs by Charlie Mingus, Narada Michael Walden, Jan Hammer, and Max Middleton to win the best guitar LP of the year in Guitar Player and chart out at number 6 in the US market. On September 20, 1983, at London's Royal Albert Hall, Beck reunited with the two other former Yardbirds guitarists, Clapton and Page, in a benefit show for action and research into multiple sclerosis. Pleased with the results, he continued on to play 10 dates on the Arms Tour of 1984. A guitar can take you wherever you want it to go, Beck said in guitar for the practicing musician. I could do a country and western album if I wanted to, heaven forbid. Beck returned Stewart's favor by adding his sixth string to camouflage and even agreed to tour with the singer. But the deal would only allow Beck about 15 minutes of stage time, which the guitarist figured to be unacceptable. Beck went on a blues metal binge in 1989 with Guitar Shop, the work of a player who has integrated technique, emotion, spontaneity and attitude so completely that you can't begin to separate them, wrote Joe Gore in Guitar Player. It's a superb rock instrumental record, one of the best ever. He contributed to John Bon Jovi's solo debut album, Blaze of Glory in 1990, playing the main solo of the album's title song, which was also the theme song to the movie Young Guns 2. Beck's best-known ballad is an instrumental version of a wonder song. In 2015, Rolling Stone magazine ranked Beck as the fifth greatest guitarist of all time, one spot ahead of blues icon B.B. King. In 2022, Beck released his final album 18, a 13-track collection of mostly cover songs with Hollywood star Johnny Depp. Jeff Beck is one of the most skilled, admired and influential guitarists in rock history. Property Jeff Beck was living in his villa in Los Feliz, Los Angeles, which he bought in 2014 for $1.4 million. He was planning to sell the house, for which he asked $2.95 million, it is musical-friendly house. The price hike is a result of the work Beck put into the property during his eight-year stay. The open floor plan combines three bedrooms, three bathrooms, a dining area and marble-splashed kitchen across 2,364 square feet. Angled beams top a flagstone patio out back, which leads to a terraced backyard with leafy nooks and a fire pit. The legendary English rock guitarist also had a house in Wadhurst, United Kingdom in the country estate called River Hall, which has value of $1 million. Cars The collection included notable models dating back decades, among them being multiple 1932 model year vehicles. The Ford Deuce Coupe, Ford Deuce Roadster and a couple of unspecified three and five windowed models. Jeff Beck car collection have vast majority of Beck's fleet, consists of 1932 Ford Coupes and sedans. Jeff Beck was fond of the best luxury cars. Estimated cost of his car collection is $1 million. Family Beck was previously married to Patricia Brown for four years, from 1963 to 1967. 
The couple eventually divorced, but the reason for their divorce is not known. Since his divorce from Brown, Beck has dated celebrities like Wendy Moore, Heather Daltrey, and Celia Hammond. However, none of the relationships became serious. He eventually married Sandra Cash in 2005, and the couple was happily married for 17 years before Beck's death. He didn't have any children. Net worth At the time of his death, Jeff Beck was estimated to have a net worth of $25 million, and this shows that he really garnered a lot of money during he was at the peak of his career. It's all from his musical career, which was for six decades. After suddenly contracting bacterial meningitis, he peacefully passed away on 10 January 2023. Since he has no children, it is certain that all his property and assets will go to his wife Sandra Cash. Jeff was among the first and last of rock music's epic guitar heroes. He played according to his own rules, with styles as unpredictable as the diverse genres through which he jammed, flanged, strummed and rolled. Let us know in the comment box which of his song is your favorite and click on the like button if you enjoyed the video. Till then, goodbye.